Have you ever noticed that when you care less about the result of something, you tend to win, but when you really worry about winning, you often lose? The main thing people care about most after a ranked game is seeing how much RR they won or lost. This is a consequence of results-oriented thinking. Typically, most players develop this thinking based on winning or losing. Others care about their personal stats like KD or ACS. Some might worry most about the opinions of their ranked homies. Regardless of which outcome you're hyper-focusing on, the downsides of results-oriented thinking can affect your performance in-game and IRL. Today, we're going to review why results-oriented thinking causes you to actually lose more and how being process oriented can help you win more ranked games. I'm chill and let's get into it. Okay, let's start by discussing why being results oriented isn't the best mindset. We're going to focus mostly on the outcome of a ranked game form of results oriented thinking because that's the most common. When focusing solely on the match's outcome, you put a lot of weight into that result and think less on what is happening in the game. You may start to get desperate in a difficult match and think, if only my teammate didn't flash us, or if I defuse a second earlier, we would have won. These are the kinds of thoughts that can lead to more anxiety and concern about whether you'll win in the game or not. The more you worry about the result of the game, the less in the game you'll be and the worse you'll perform. This can affect basic things like your aim, movement, and even your comms if you start to become tilted. This can all build up and create more anxiousness throughout the game as you approach the defeat screen. Speaking of ranked anxiety, if you feel that nerves are the main reason you're struggling in ranked, check out this video in the top right where I offer you some solutions to overcome ranked anxiety. If you're focused so much on the end result, you're probably afraid to lose. Fear of losing creates more anxiety and can stack like a debuff on your mental toughness. Fear can cause you to play more cautiously than you should. This can take the form of worse performance in gunfights. Confidence is a large part of gunfights and if you're scared to hit your shots then you won't strafe properly, you may start panic spraying more, and second guessing your decision making. The last reason being results oriented can kill your ranked gains is due to a lack of focus. What are you thinking about before, during, and after a round? Is your focus on the right things like the economy, enemy agent ults, your plan for the next round? Or are you thinking, that round was awful, I can't believe Cypher won before us. If we don't win this next round, we'll probably lose. If it's the latter, I can tell you that you're focused on the wrong things. This happens to me, and I can show you with this clip the exact moment I lost focus. I started in this seemingly unwinnable 1v4. I managed to isolate 3 fights due to the enemy pushing me one by one and head towards C to plan. At this point I start thinking the round was actually winnable, the exact thing I probably shouldn't be thinking about in this moment. Since this put more pressure on winning the round, my heart rate spiked, grip on the mouse tightened, and I made the mistake of planning safe and playing in halls which is a very difficult position to defend against the defuse. The jet taps and I make another bad decision by slowly walking through her smoke and dying just as it went down. My lack of focus due to being results oriented caused me to make poor decisions and increase the probability of losing the round. It's not easy to overcome your own mind in the heat of the moment, but there are some things that you can do to start thinking more about the process and less about the result. That brings us to the opposite of being results oriented, which is how to be more process oriented. Think about what it takes to convert a match into a win. It's a step-by-step -step process starting at the agent select screen, buying guns and abilities, checking the economy, coming up with a strategy, executing that strategy, etc. This is what the process is. If you're only thinking about the result of the match, you aren't really thinking about what you need to do to get there. In order to reach the result, you need to focus more on these little details of the game. Some of these details take practice and preparation like gunfight mechanics and lineups, some take experience like reading the enemy to figure out what they'll do during the round, and some take time to overcome like ranked anxiety. Given enough time and consistent practice, these details will become more natural to you, so focusing on the result becomes a waste of your time. Putting 100% of your energy into the little details known as the process, instead of some energy in the process and some in the result, can give you much better results and can make you a better player over time. Letting go of the result by thinking only of the process to reach that goal is how you take control of your mental game and your success in ranked. If your true intention is to rank up, you may be trying to queue as many games as possible during one session. It appears to work for the streamers you watch, so why wouldn't you do it too? While this may work for them, keep in mind it takes a lot of experience and energy to maintain a high level of performance throughout the course of these marathon sessions. In fact, I'm willing to bet a lot of the red carpets you see, or may have experienced yourself, are the result of playing too many games in one session to the point where your mind is fried and you can't focus as well as you did 
the first few games. If you feel hard stuck in your current rank, odds are you're playing too much in one session and not putting your energy into learning why you're stuck. Sure, playing endlessly may eventually make you a better player, but if you want to optimize the time you have and rank up gradually, you need to put more energy into things like VOD reviewing to see what mistakes you make, improving your gunfight mechanics in the practice range and deathmatch, and studying pros that use your agent and ranked. It's important to be consistent by playing ranked, but consistent doesn't mean the quantity should increase. It means maintaining high quality matches with maximum focus so you are always playing ranked at your best. Personally for me, this is 1-2 to two games per night. My wife does the same thing. She only plays a max of 2 games no matter if she loses both, wins both, or has a win and a loss. Limiting yourself and being disciplined about how much you're playing is another way to stay process oriented and improve in ranked. And that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me next. Subscribe for more guides like this one and check out this video next for more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.